السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته تاوغ ديالي يلدقي استيال با كسو دو واد عشر كيني برشادة لغادة هفكا انجوريسيكا مغا عايقو و حاسان كوراني عشر كمان تاعان ديگان اينا اي و عشر كو سافسان اخرسكا ادياتو براتيان اني واسما لكم عليني اي مانتو هدار كتون تان اناقي او شاكاين اخرين اي شاكا داسي وحيات كفهان تان اي وحيات كفهان من با كومان تيگا ايات كسو بحين دون تان رونا هاتي لكن عشر كمان تاعان ديگان اينا اي Hi everyone, this is Hassan from Hassan Kurani channel. For today's lesson is only for reading com comprehension. So it means that you will train and understand the pronunciation of the word so that I will read a story. So the only thing that you have to focus is the way I am pronouncing the words. That is the main point or the reason behind my recording today kuso do wada asherka and kobi yo lehdanat on ma anta digana eno lesson 6 to 1 reading comprehension akhras kaam bilaw i want to be in a relationship with her but she avoids the topic april 4 2009 I have a unique situation that I am trying to deal with it. Randy and I met online in August 2008. We live 400 miles apart. We met in we met on space as she was setting up on our high school reunion. We never knew each other in high school. Some background info. Randy is going through a divorce and she has three kids she and i started talking online talked every day we had great conversations usually lasting an hour or so we met the night before the reunion at the end of september and hit it off really well right after that i found out that i was being deployed to iraq i'm not in the military but work as a civilian for the army. I asked if she wanted to spend a weekend together in October and she said yes. We did the same in November. Both times we had a great time together. I slept in the same bed as her, but we never had sex feeling it would only further complicate things. Also, we were talking every day on the phone for a couple of hours, plus we emailed during the day at work. Randy has been very upfront that she isn't ready for a committed relationship. The day I left her place, I told her I loved her. I didn't say the words, but she understands how I feel. Not sure if that was the best thing to do, but I did it. Middle of November, I left for Iraq. Since I left, Randy and I nearly talk every day, either by phone or by email or IM. It has slowed down quite a bit, but we still talk often. She is still going through the divorce. So here is the problem. My friends told me that I need, that I need to just be her friend right now. I am having a hard time doing this. My feelings for her are too great. When I bring it up to her, she tells me that she can't commit and that talking about this every now and then is starting to become a real turn off. I understand this, but keeping my feelings close hold is hard to do. I try to flirt with her, send her flowers, notes, letters, poems. I don't do this all the time, but every once in a while. She doesn't tell me how she feels. She hasn't told me she misses me, nor has she told me that she is excited to see me when I come back for a break in June. I asked about her missing me, and she says she doesn't have time to miss me. We talk all the time, and I asked her if she was excited to see me when I come back and she didn't answer. I believe she is out, but she puts up this wall. I understand why. I don't know if I am wasting my time with her. I don't think I can remain friends with her 
and move on. I've jumped in with both feet already and it's too late to be just friends. We communicate great. We discuss the 1000 questions from that book. We play games over the phone. We don't want to be stuck in friend land. On top of that, I don't want to be a rebound either. I feel like I am always giving to her, but I receive nothing in return. Right now, Randy Love is her freedom. She doesn't have to answer to anyone. I realize that going out on dates may be healthy for her, but it but it tears me up inside. She doesn't tell me about the dates or that she is going on them, I, but I do know she has. I think I am going off as needy and I don't want that. I'm just a, a really great guy who fell in love with someone who isn't quite available. Plus, there is this distance too. Basically, I'm wondering if I am wasting my time or do you guys think that something could possibly come from this. Thanks for your time, Mike. What about Mike by no Korea? And when I was telling you, oh, Marka, I was going to send you off. Let me tell you, I was going to send you. That means you have to do now. So that we do now. At the end, but we have sent you into the end. After the scale is written, that means that the end, we have to do that. And if you are not clear, you will not comment. If you are not clear, you will not comment. If you are not clear, Subscribe ku qabta ma ta aashir kaan wuxuu aha reading comprehension oo akhris ah dab an sidan eliyasha oo akhrinayo ayaad run haanti u fir salaysan aadna muhim ayay nigu nukun doonta wa ma ala hasan o lilleh ma ala tuwa niwa ala ato meela chuk taan ba Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Dao da yali yirdiga isti alba kusur da wada ashir kaini Prashada luga da afka ingresi ka Maga aiku wa hasan o tos niga imana ya channel ka hasan kurani Di adi mika nagu so ayin nagu so birte dao da Wa hat saar ta subscribe adi go taawana ya gok ta asan ka Si adu hasho video da islam barka anu so ayin so gali no Hi everyone this is hasan from hasan kurani channel Hi everyone this is hasan Coming straight to you from Hassan Kurani channel. If you have just joined us, please subscribe our YouTube channel so you will get the new videos as we post it. For today's lesson, Michelle and Frank are answering to the letter of Mike. So this is the reply. So now let's dive in. Anguda Gallo and asher ke na maanta waxo ku saabsan yahay waxbarashada luuqada afka ingiriisiga learning english language asher ka labi ya lixdanaad lesson 62 reading comprehension part 2 wa akhriska ama fahanka akhriska qaybta labaad hadii qaybta koobaad daawada doonaysan waxa weeya aad ku qori doontaa reading comprehension part 1 michel and frank reply to mike's letter Michelle and Frank will have to be able to read the video of Mike. Please subscribe our channel if you really like the videos or send your feedback to Hassan Kurani channel. So let's dive in, please. Michelle says, I hate to be discouraging when I give advice. But to be honest, I think it's very clear that she isn't interested in having a relationship with you. I think you are in love with a person who doesn't feel an inch of what you do for her you have spoken of so many red flags that she isn't interested unfortunately when you are on your side of the coin it's hard to not be pious and to shrug off big signs she isn't into us small things that might change she is getting divorced has her freedom and isn't ready to let go of that yet. She is dating other men, which is a clear sign that she isn't as interested in you as you are in her. She is not responsive to your affections or gifts and doesn't seem to want them. She is turned off by you even mentioning the word relationship. I think what you need to do is get an answer straight from her. If she is excited to see you, then she would just say it. 
there is no reason for her to hide that at all. Saying she doesn't have time to miss you is quite the line. You don't need time to miss a person. You either miss them or you don't. It isn't something you work on and needs time. I just feel like she is avoiding hurting your feelings by saying she doesn't miss you. Honestly, who in the military wants to hear that? Ask her, can you see yourself with me in a serious, committed relationship at any point in the future? If she hesitates or tries to talk around the question, then she is not interested and wants to avoid hurting your feelings. If she says no, she is being honest. If she says yes, then be careful. You have to wonder why she is dating other men and at the same time leading you on. I really think you just need to hear what she honestly thinks about being in a relationship with you. You deserve a straight answer. Her leading you on is not fair to you and you pursuing her when she doesn't want to be pursued by you is not fair to her either. I am sorry, Mike. I don't think anything will come from pursuing her anymore. But I do think that you need to have a talk with her so you can leave this relationship knowing that nothing would have happened. You don't want to think what might have been good luck, Michelle. That is the advice of Michelle. And now let's move on to Frank's advice. Frank says, I understand that you really love Friendly, and while she may like you back, it really seems like she is just not feeling like she should be in a relationship with you right now. Here is why I am thinking that. She has told you a couple of times that she is not ready for a relationship. She mentions how busy she is and even when you talk of a relationship. It is a turn off. I personally do not see why, even if she is not ready for the relationship yet, why she would not just tell you that she could see herself in a relationship with you just now. Maybe in the future she could, though. So her being upfront, as you said, that she isn't ready is something that I think you have to take at the value, at face value. Even friends can be excited that someone is coming back home from, from deployment. My buddy came back for a week from being stationed in NC, New Carolina, in January. And my friends and I threw him a party. So, her not saying that she is excited to see you is strange. The reason could be because she is afraid of leading you on. If you know that she is excited to see you, she could be afraid that she may, that you might get the wrong idea. You believe that she is going on dates and not telling you? If she really is doing this, she is not telling you because she knows it will crush your heart. Or she is not telling you because she thinks it is really none of your business. Either way, they are not good signs. If you want a relationship, if she wants a relationship with you, but, she, but still want to, want you to date, I think that she would tell you that she needs to see some other people in the meantime or something along those lines. Unfortunately, Mike, you are committed to this relationship that Randy just doesn't want to happen. It's my opinion that you have to just tell her straight up. Tell her that you really want to pursue a relationship with her when you get back. You cannot just stay in the friend zone anymore. Because, of, because if you have feelings for her, and this causes you to not enjoy your friendship to the fullest. And, it, and she knows 
you have feelings, but she isn't returning them. This is also causing a problem with your friendship. What I am trying to say is that friendships, when the feelings are there for one and not for there for the other one, hurt both people. If you just give her an ultimatum that she has to tell you if you have a serious relationship when you get back, or else you will be out of her life, you will get your answer. Generally, ultimatums are not fun, but it is the best way to get some type of real answer. And they are only to be used in very serious situations. I know you want to I, I I know you want to be with her, but you cannot just keep sliding along as a friend wanting more and not receiving more. It's it's it is already wearing on you and it will only hurt more as it gets on. Sorry, Mike. But you need to make up your mind if you want to continue living as if your current situation is fine or with an answer and no guessing about motives. Best of luck, Mike. Stay safe in Iraq, Frank. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. طبعا سبسكرايب قصة ما يا دو يا دو ما هتسنتين انتي عدقي سيني سين دور شاركوين كو عليا تاس الشاكة دي وحايا هايد لوغة شوابي تالا دي مايك و ربي مركا وحاوغة شواب تيكا ورد اللي رادو ميشال يوير كالي رادو فرانك اولا بورا قدو دو تالا نرونا هانتي او قري مايك ورونا هانتي جعلا قبر دوان مركا يادانا ين لفوري او مركا اسكاب بوقصا عدو يا دو ما هتسنتين وحاو عشر كاسيني جيمي